If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question before listening on. We've gone ahead and drawn a picture of the scenario. We have a person looking down on the top of a hemispherically shaped paperweight, and then there's this line that's drawn, and the paperweight is sort of sitting on top of that line. And what we want to note is that light from this line is going to originate from the line. It's going to strike the spherical surface, and then it's going to refract and enter the eye of the observer. It's an important convention to note that for spherically shaped surfaces, whichever side the light is originating from would be labeled as the front side. And then the other side would be, of course, the back. And so it would be then important to note that our object, which is this red line, is located on the front side of the spherical surface. And that's going to be important because it's going to dictate certain sign conventions. As just noted, when the object is located in front of the surface, then we're going to call the object distance, which is denoted as P, a positive value. The image distance will be negative, and then the radius will be negative. So in fact, maybe we could start with the radius, which is given to us as 4 centimeters. But again, we can see from the conventions here that we're actually going to call that negative 4 centimeters, because once again, the object is located on the front side of the surface. Now, for the object distance, which is P, we would simply want to measure the distance from the object to the actual surface. So it would be this distance right here. And we can see, hopefully, that that distance is, once again, the radius of the spherical surface. According to our sign convention, we're going to call that distance, that object distance, a positive value. So we can safely say that P is equal to positive 4.0 centimeters. What we can first calculate is the image distance, the, the Q value. That would be simply the distance from the surface to where the image is going to form, which in this case would be at the person's eye. We can calculate Q using the following formula. And in order to plug everything in, we need to know what N1 and N2 are. Well, again, light is originating from the front side of the mirror, so we're going to call this side N1. And of course, before we plug in, we need to figure out what N1 and N2 are as well. Light is originating from the front side of the surface, so we're going to call that N1. And then over on the other side, we'll call N2. Now, over here is air, so the N2 will, be, will just be 1. N1 was given to us in the question. That's the index of refraction of this material that the paperweight is made of. So that's going to be 1.5. With all of that, we can now plug into this formula and try to solve for Q. So we've plugged in all the values. Again, our goal is to solve for Q. Why don't we subtract 1.5 over 4 to the other side of the equation? We can then pick up our calculators and compute this value on the right side. We could then invert both sides of the equation. So the left side would become q over 1, which is just q, and the right side would become negative 4 over 1, which is just negative 4. So the image distance q turns out to be negative 4 centimeters. Now that's not the answer yet, but we can use that to next find the magnification. So here is the magnification equation. Notice that we're actually trying to calculate h prime, which is the length of the image that the observer is going to see. So why don't we go ahead and multiply both sides of the equation by h. And then at this point, we can plug in the known values. Just keep in mind that h would be the original length of the object itself, and that was given to us as 2.5 millimeters. And so with all the known values plugged in, we get approximately 3.8 millimeters as the length of the image as observed by the person looking down in the paperweight. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe. Also, send in your own question to this address and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.